This is Nick from Cannaweld coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, we're going to take a break from looking at machines and looking at different accessories and today we are going to talk about putting a new liner into your old beat up MIG torch. So this MIG torch here is one of the ones that my guys use in the back for testing out all the machines. Every time they build something we run it up, we do a bit of welding with it, we make sure it's going to work good. Uh, and the guys are great at building machines, but they haven't done the maintenance on this torch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's had a hard life. You can see there's some electrical tape down here. This tip is looking absolutely moshed, uh, and I'm expecting it to be not too much better on the inside. Now, I know already, because I checked before the video, that there is uh, your standard steel liner in here, which is what these ship with, uh, and those are great quality liners. They work really well. They have a long shelf life, and they're good for the mild steel, the stainless steel wire. We're going to be putting in a Teflon liner today. These Teflon liners flow a little bit smoother uh, and they work great at around the 200 amp range with an air-cooled torch, but if you're going to be going above 200 amps, you need a water-cooled torch to use a Teflon liner. The reason is this Teflon will get soft, it's going to start grabbing onto your wire and it's not going to run as good. So I already did a practice run removing the steel one from here, but we're actually going to watch me put in a Teflon one for the very first time in my life. I didn't do a practice run on this. so. Hopefully it goes smooth, and hopefully this is something that you guys are interested in. So let's start at the front of our 200 amp torch. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is remove this nozzle. And since I'm doing the liner, I'm going to replace the nozzle, I'm going to replace the tip. We could probably clean this up, but uh, you know, why bother? It's misshapen, it's all full of slag, uh, no one's been using nozzle dip with it, you can tell. So we're going to bend that, and we're going to put a brand new one on but that's not until the end. And we're gonna remove this tip. I don't know if you guys can see the threads there. This one won't even go all the way in anymore. It's had a hard life. So let's get rid of this, because it's not in the worst shape, but I mean, we're doing a video, so why not go for new everything? And we're gonna be putting it in a new 035 tip. But that's at the end. So now, some of you who've already done this before know you gotta take this off, right? But if I start twisting this, Every time I twist forward, oh, it wants to go back. Forward, it wants to go back. I can't twist this enough times and fight that tension to get it off. The reason is, there's a little set screw right in there. And that set screw is pressed firmly against our liner that's running through here. And in fact, if you look through these little holes here, that is the very tip of the steel liner that we put inside. So that's gonna be sort of our, our little pilot hole. We're gonna watch that to know that we've got the other one. Uh, at the right distance because sometimes these aren't the exact distance that they're supposed to be and you got to trim them down. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Let's get that set screw nice and loose. We don't want to lose it, you don't have to take it all the way out. But look, now no problem, right? So let's go ahead and take that out just for a size comparison. See what I mean? It goes right about to about those holes. This one's slightly long, it's not going to do any damage, but whatever. Something interesting, I hope the camera can pick this up. You see all the crud on the inside of that liner? See all that? That black stuff? It looks like hair. That's metal shavings from the inside of this, from dirty wire traveling through it, slowly getting pushed out. Those same shavings, little tiny bit at a time, are coming right through your contact tip and ending up in your weld. That's why it's important to clean these things, especially when you're testing stuff out. You want everything to be clean and working well so that you can do a good weld with it and get accurate feedback about what it is you just attempted to test. So now that we got this out, we're going to go to this end. This right here is just a little protective cap. It doesn't do much, just helps keep the dust and the dirt and the grime out. Take this cap off, put it to the side, and this right here is the end of our liner. Now, like I learned 20 minutes ago when I was doing this, uh, is that if you attempt to pull it out while everything's coiled out, coiled up like this, good luck. It is very difficult. Do yourself a favor and have your camera person stretch this out flat on the ground. Okay? You want it as flat and as straight as possible, and then it's going to be a lot easier to pull out. Would you mind straightening that out just a little bit more? That's perfect. Excellent. And look at that. So here's our old liner coming out.
Okay. So the old liner's out. And to be honest with you, it looks like it's in good shape. But for the purpose of our video, it really doesn't matter if it's in good shape or bad shape because we're talking about changing it. So let's get this out of the way, off camera. And let's open up this Teflon guy and see if we can figure this out together. Okay, so I can tell already just by looking at it that it's longer than I need. See this little piece here? The washer? If you take a look closely at it, you can see that it's flared. So I know that this is the back that will be sticking out of the back of my torch, which means I want to start at this end, feeding it in. So let's do that. And we'll get this thing fed all the way in, and then we're gonna mark it, and we're gonna cut it down to size. Okay, I can feel it's coming out the end now because of a little bit of resistance. Now, not every liner that you're going to purchase is going to have the exact same sort of piece on the end. They're a little bit different. But this one here, you can see, because it's gotten fatter, that's as far as it'll go. And so I know that's good and now my cap's gonna fit back on. But I'm not ready to put that cap on yet because I still need to trim this liner down to size. So let me go ahead and reel in my other end and let's see what we're working with here. Aha! So, it appears we have more liner than torch. Okay, so, we're gonna to need to cut this down. So if we wanna cut this down, remember, don't go from here, measure it from here. And I want this liner to be pretty much flush with those holes. So it doesn't have to be absolutely flawless, and I don't have a permanent marker on me, but if I did, I would put a little dot right where I put my thumbnail, and then I'm gonna cut this. Okay, because this liner won't feed all the way through here. So as long as I can close this all the way, I'll know that I made my liner good. Fits. Well, that's good news for us and good news for only doing this in one take. So let's go ahead and tighten up that set screw. You don't have to bury it. You just want it tight. We can discard this because it's useless. We're going to put our cap back on the end. If you find that while you're trying to put this cap back on, you're really pushing down as hard as you can and it still doesn't want to bite, doesn't want to bite, that means you still got too much in here and it's pushed up a little bit. So trim off a little bit more from this end. Never trim off from the back end. Trim it off from the front. We know ours fits though already, so that's good. Here we go, we got our new liner. Now let's take our new 035 tip. Ah, that one threads all the way in nicely. Good threads, good fit. Let's take our lovely new nozzle. Spin this into position. There we go. That's it. We've got ourselves a brand new Teflon liner in here, ready to go. Should weld nice and smooth. I'm gonna have the boys go into the back. Well, I'm gonna have the guys in the back test it out for me this afternoon. They got some MIG MMA 202s that they're gonna be working on. So we'll run this up and make sure I did it right. But to be honest with you, I know I did it right because it's not that complicated. So thanks a lot for watching with me today, guys. Uh, if you have any ideas, you have any questions about liners, uh, we keep many different types in stock. You know, there's polymede ones, there's Teflon, there's ones for aluminum wire, ones for steel wire. 
If you have any questions about them and you want to learn more about the different types of liners for the different types of applications, hit me up. We can do a video about that, no problem. And so if you enjoyed today's content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until I catch you guys next week, stay safe out there, have a lot of fun, and keep making paper. Thanks for watching.